Hi, I'm Bob Hunter, tools editor for Wood Magazine. You know, a, a cordless drill is one of the greatest tools to have in, a, in any shop because, you know, you can use it for drilling and driving screws, you can do it for countersinking, all sorts of uses, and then it's also good for taking into the home or onto a job site use. They're just a really handy tool. Well, one of the other tools that you may not be aware of that we'd like to kind of you know, introduce you to is an impact driver. A uh, cordless impact driver works in, in a little differently than a drill and there's a lot of advantages and disadvantages to it. And so let me just kind of run you through that. I have several examples here of 18 volt drills on, on the bench. Uh, this is a, what a typical 18 volt drill looks like. You can see it's a, a fairly sizable tool, weighs about five, six pounds, not, not bad at all, but still just, just a little bit bigger. This is what an impact driver looks like in the same voltage. In fact, they share the same batteries. This, this is true among most brands uh, of tools today and cordless tools. So what you can do with this is, this tool weighs about two to three pounds less than the comparable drill. You can see it's shorter, so you can get it into tight spaces. Uh, an example would be if you were working between ceiling joists and you were driving screws, where you normally would have about a 16 to two foot span between there. By the time you add a driving bit, the fastener, whether it's a screw or a, or a lag bolt, this gives you a lot more room to get in there and get into tight areas, which this drill, we know would do the job well, just doesn't quite fit into that same area sometime. Um, let me tell you about a few more advantages to these tools. One of the chief advantages of, of an impact driver is that it has a hammering mechanism inside that delivers rotational force around the bit so that when you're pushing in the screw, it, you don't have to push quite as hard. We have an uh, animated video segment that we'll show you in just a minute that, that it shows us in detail, but for now, the chief, what you need to know is that it, it makes it easier for you when you're driving screws so that you don't have to really exert as much arm strength as you would if you were using a standard drill. Um, one of the other advantages is the variable speed trigger on this so that you can, you can adjust your speed of this, as you're driving just like you would with a regular drill. So if you're doing something, I mean, when you're getting toward the end and you're about to seat the screw, you can back off and ease up and then you can just bring it right into place real smooth. Um, that also, an impact with that impact mechanism is that when you're driving the screws, the, the driver bit won't cam out the screw head as much as a standard drill will. You can, you can adjust that when you're working with the clutch on a drill. This doesn't have a clutch, but it gives you a lot more control just by the, the hammering mechanism and the ability to feather the trigger back and forth. Uh, that mechanism also then, it works great in reverse. If you ever have a stuck bolt or a screw that's hard to undo with a regular drill, this hammering mechanism on the impact driver just backs those out like nothing. Even though impact drivers have, have several advantages, there's also a few disadvantages that you need to be aware of. And the, and the most important one is that these things are loud when, they are, when you're driving fasteners and that hammer mechanism kicks in, it is loud. So be sure to have yourself a pair of, of earmuffs or uh, earplugs handy. Uh, you'll really appreciate this, especially if you're driving a lot of screws or a lot of bolts.